Welcome to Top 10 Archive. From the creation of Legos, The Little Mermaid, and the drummer from Metallica, Denmark has given many contributions to the world and is believed by many to be the most delightful place to live on Earth. Here are our Top 10 captivating facts about Denmark. Number 10. Fairy Tales The Danish fairy tales writer Hans Christian Andersen is well known around the Western world notably for such tales as The Emperor's New Clothes, The Little Mermaid, which was adapted by Walt Disney, and The Ugly Duckling. The Hans Christian Andersen Award, which was inaugurated nearly 80 years after Andersen's death, is an award given biennially by the International Board on Books for Young People to an author and illustrator whose complete works have made a lasting contribution to children's literature. This award was later given to the author of Winnie the Pooh, A. A. Milne. Number 9. Legoland With its magnificent palaces and stunning gardens, Copenhagen hosts more visitors than any other Nordic city. Tivoli, founded in 1843, is a world-famous amusement park which caters to all ages. This park can be found in downtown Copenhagen. Also popular among children and even some adults is Legoland. Massive works of art and other structures built entirely of Legos can be found on the Jutland Peninsula just a car trip away from Copenhagen. This Lego land is the first of its kind, built in 1968 and one of the biggest tourist attractions in all of Denmark. Number 8. Sports Denmark's national sport is football, better known to those living in the United States as soccer. Their national team won the European Championships in 1992. Denmark is also a strong cycling nation and has had its fair share of citizens participate in the Tour de France. In 1996, a Dane named Bjorn Ries won the race against hundreds of other bikers from across the world. If you're still yearning to hear more about one of Denmark's other less common physical activities, it may interest you to know that the men's national handball team has won the most medals in European Championship history. Number 7. Nobel Peace Prize Denmark has had its fair share of Nobel laureates. Most of these have come from literature and some from medicine and physiology. Frederick Bayer was a teacher and pacifist politician. He was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1908. Bayer was openly against war and believed we should do everything in our power to prevent it. With such a relatively small population, Denmark is lucky enough to have one of the highest numbers of Nobel laureates per capita in the world. Number 6. Architects Jorn Utzen was a famous Danish architect. He is known to have derived his inspiration from foreign architects such as Frank Wright and Alvar Aalto. Their organic conception of the craft was of great significance for Utzen's own unique and expressive nature-based sculptures, which inspired many others. 1957 was the year when Utzen seemed to become known and well-liked across the world. He won the international competition to build an opera house in Sydney, Australia. The Sydney Opera House opened to the public in October of 1973, gaining Utzen even more notoriety throughout much of the world. He died in 2003 after being awarded the Pritzker Prize of Architecture. Number 5. Oldest Independent Flag First acknowledged in 1219, the Danish flag remains the oldest state flag in the world still in use by an independent nation. The history of the flag comes from the Battle of Lindenische, also known as Battle of Valdemar. The legend goes on to say, a priest prayed to God during the battle, seeking strength, and the flag miraculously fell from the sky, and the king took it, showing it to his troops, and their hearts were filled with courage, and the Danes won the battle. Although no historical record supports this legend. Historically speaking, even with having a very high unemployment rate, Denmark constantly ranks as one of the happiest countries in the world. Number 4. Famous Danes As far as famous people go, Denmark has their fair share of different celebrities. Perhaps one of the most recognizable of which is Lars Ulrich, the Danish-American drummer for the heavy metal band Metallica. Lars was born in Gentofte, Denmark, to an upper-middle-class family in 1963. Although pursuing tennis in his youth, 
Lars decided that drums were more up to his speed, a decision that would later make him the rhythm to arguably the best heavy metal band of all time, having sold over 120 million records worldwide during their career. Number three, Danish cuisine. Like every country that we cover on Top 10 Archive, the Danish also have a wonderful selection of dishes and cuisines. Rye bread is very popular in the Danish community, or what they call schmorbrød. Rye bread is as popular in Denmark as white bread or wheat bread in the United States. Many Danish dishes consist of many types of fish and meat, such as pickled herring, roast beef, roast pork, bacon, and shrimp. The Danish koldbød, or cold buffet, corresponds to its Swedish counterpart, the smorgasbord. A very popular main course dish in Denmark is kulegsteg, a top sirloin steak with dry herbs served with potatoes and green salad. Number two, Danish inventions. As we mentioned earlier in this video, Denmark has a popular tourist attraction known as Legoland. It goes without saying, the Danes actually invented and still own the rights to Legos, which were founded in 1932. To date, Lego is probably the most successful invention that came out of Denmark. As of 2013, an estimated 560 billion Lego pieces have been produced. The Danes also invented the Christmas seal, gram staining, and the rumor scale. Number one, dog breeds. It would make sense that the dog breed, the Great Dane, came from Denmark. But you'd be wrong. The Great Dane actually originated from Germany. However, Denmark is known for creating a few dog breeds that can be found worldwide, the more popular of which is the Brohomer, also called the Danish Mastiff, which is a cross between an English Mastiff and some unknown local dog from Germany. Another popular breed from Denmark is the Old Danish Pointer, which originated in the early 1700s and commonly was used as a hunting dog. Lastly, we have the Danish-Swedish farm dog, which was officially recognized in 1987. Although not technically from Denmark alone, the breed was actually mutually created between both Denmark and Sweden, hence the name, in which both countries decided on the name of the new dog breed. Like these top 10 videos? Subscribe by clicking the annotation here and give our video a like. Have an idea for a future top 10? Leave a comment in the section below.